All right, everyone, welcome back to my channel, Baseball Talk with Nick Morgan. So today, we are recapping Game 2 of the 2018 World Series. This game was October 24th, 2018, and we had two starting pitchers, of course, as you always do. For the Dodgers, you had Hyun Jin Ru. Probably said that wrong. Please forgive me. Uh, his 2018 postseason stats, he has three games with a 1-1 record, a 4.40 ERA, 14.1 innings pitched, 15 strikeouts, and a 1.33 whip. His postseason career stats, he was 2-1 with a 3.56 ERA, 30.1 innings pitched, 24 strikeouts, and a 1.19 whip. So, he was having a pretty good postseason so far. Uh, let's see how well he did in the end. First, before we get to that, the second starting pitcher of the game, of course, were the Red Sox, as they were at Fenway Park for the second time in a row. David Price, 2018 postseason stats in three games. He's also 1-1 one one with a 5.11 ERA, 12.1 innings pitched. 13 strikeouts, <coughs> excuse me, and a 1.38 whip. So two starting pitchers had pretty similar numbers there. His postseason career stats, though, of course, we're talking about David Price. He's 3-9, and 5.04 ERA, and 85.2 innings pitched, 81 strikeouts, and a 1.24 whip. So he's not amazing in the postseason. Did the Dodgers take advantage of that? We're going to see right now. So, of course, <coughs> excuse me, oh my goodness, the Red Sox won the previous night. So they had the lead on the series 1-0. We're going to recap what the pitchers did now. So those are the starting pitchers and their stats. Hyunjin Ryu got the loss. He was 0-1. 4.2 innings pitched, 6 hits, 4 runs, 4 earned runs, 1 walk, 5 strikeouts, and a 7.71 ERA. David Price got the win. He was 1-0. And, and Alex Rodriguez called it. 6 strong innings, 3 hits, 2 runs, 2 earned runs, 3 walks, 5 strikeouts, and a 3.00 ERA. Now the save, which means it was a close game, went to Craig Kimbrell. That was his first. He had 1 inning pitched, 0 hits, 0 runs, 0 walks, 0 strikeouts, and 0, 0.00 ERA. So zeros across the board for him. The total pitching stats, so for the Dodgers, they pitched 8 innings, gave up 8 hits, Allowed four runs, and all four of them were earned runs. Had two walks, eight strikeouts, and zero home runs. The Red Sox, on the other hand, had nine innings pitched. Only gave up three hits. But on those three hits, two runs, two earned runs, three walks, eight strikeouts, and zero home runs. The Red Sox bullpen was lights out. I mean, giving up three hits in one game and, uh, you know, only allowing two runs, or for that case, allowing two runs. Um, a, you know, you do give up a lot of runs with the only amount of, or with the small amount of hits that you gave up, but like three hits in a World Series game where you have the best of the AL and the best of the NL, that really shows that this bullpen means business. So now on the scoring plays, I did this a little different than last time. I'm doing the scoring plays put together. So yeah, the Red Sox and the Dodgers in here. So in the bottom of the second, Ian Kinsler for the Red Sox singles on a line drive to left fielder Chris Taylor, and uh, Xander Bogarts scores, so the Sox are up 1-0 early on. In the top of the fourth, you see Matt Kemp out on a south fly of center field, Jackie Bradley Jr., David Free scores, so the ball game is tied up at 1-4 innings in. But Yasiel Puig in the top of the fourth is like, hey, we're not done yet. He singles on a line drive to center fielder Jackie Bradley Jr., Manny Machado scores, Taylor to third, so the Dodgers take a 2-1 lead, which means, hey, Dodgers, like I said in the previous video, they really, you know, they're, they're trying to score runs. They're trying to make an impression on the Red Sox. Like, hey, we're not going to lose without a fight. We're ready to play this game as much as we can and to the best of our ability and possibly win. In the bottom of the fifth, Steve Pierce walks. Christian Vasquez scores. Bets to third. Ben Intendi to second. So the game's tied up at two. And I honestly hate when this happens where you have bases loaded and you walk in a run like it's... Oh, it's the most annoying feeling because you're like, well, if I struck him out, even if I make let him make contact, you know, we could have had it out at some way possibly, but it's okay. Um, you see, you see that all the time. I don't know why I stuttered there, but we see it all the time in postseason or regular season or little league. Like, you know, it's it's gonna happen to the best pitchers sometimes, you know. So of course that's gonna tie the game too, like I said. But in the bottom of the fifth, which is the same inning, JD Martinez singles on a line drive to right field Yasiel Puig. Mookie Betts scores, Andrew Benintendi scores, Steve Pierce the third, Red Sox take a 4-2 lead, and that's enough. So they stop scoring after five innings. That's enough to end the game right there. So the final, Dodgers 2, Red Sox 4. Red Sox take game 2. Now, again, this, this meant a lot for the Dodgers in a lot of ways because A, they didn't give up as many runs as the first game. So they're like, hey, you know what? That first game, our bad. We didn't mean to do that. 
we did not mean to lose by as much as we did. And they honestly kept a tight grasp on the Red Sox. They only scored four runs, which with the Red Sox in their lineup, hey, I'll take four runs any day. They only scored two, however, which of course could have been better. But still, it's leading up to an awesome Game 3. And Game 3 was last night, so I will cover Game 3 soon as well. But really, this World Series is just starting I know we're two games in, I know the Red Sox already have two wins, but like we are getting closer and closer to seeing hopefully a Dodgers or the Dodgers pull out a win. And you know, we of course I mentioned this in my last video. We don't want to see a four game series. We want to see something that goes six, seven, where it's back and forth between both teams. So with that being said, that's gonna end this video, guys. Comment down below what you think is going to happen in the end. Who do you think's gonna win? What do you think the uh, game wins will be for each team. And that's going to be it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Peace.